Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Alex Shauki. And I'm Kamas Rehanur Hakim. Let's get right to the problem. The problem is that some Indonesians, around 2 to 3 million, still don't have access to electricity. And this doesn't account people who struggle to get electricity in the first place. And some, and in order to suffice the, um, the amount of electricity they lost or don't have, they may get gas or diesel generators. But these generators are really bad for the environment and is very much not recommended. So, as a replacement, we thought of wind turbines. Why wind turbines? Because they're relatively cheaper to understand and also cheap in process too. And not cheaper to understand, I mean easier to understand. And these turbines will be used similar to how household um, solar panels are used, which is they are separate from the normal grid, which is of course available everywhere too. And even though the wind's slower in the equatorial zone, if we know what we're doing, the advantages will be negated. We get to know that also we all, you should also know the two orientation of turbines, this horizontal. And vertical. Better to use vertical because it's much easier for people to understand. Like I said, less moving parts, and also I'm pretty sure it's cheaper too. And we also should know why blades can turn because of Newton's third law and the Bernoulli effect. And if we make a shape that specifically take advantage of both. This shape will be called an airflow, which is a geometric shape that allows more lift to be made compared to drag when put in a fluid simulation and be seen in such things such as aircraft wings. And the airflow we specifically use for this analysis is the NACA 0021. This is the dimensions that we got from trial and error, which is what we're going to explain next. Because you got the also that we also use the formula power equals to car power coefficient times rho times area times velocity to the power of three divided by two. This is so we can get the power target to achieve, and this is so we can find the efficiency because we can't really calculate it. We instead just use this graph that's already been made and is usually used as a reference. As we're using the Darius motor, we're trying to get the efficiency of 30 to 40 percent. Now, I'm going to let my partner Rayhan explain the rest. Okay, thank you, Alif. The next part is uh, from the Kubelet uh, data. Uh, here we see the result from trial and error that me and Alif already working on for the past few days for the research. Our target for the power input is around 150 to 300 watts. Here's the settings about our blade design that we use to create the Vawat. At first, for the dimension of our blade, for the length is 1.2 meters with the same amount of the diameters and uh, with the same amount of our diameters, which is also 1.2 meters. And for the cord is 0 0.1 two meters long with the swap area around 1.44 meters square. And for detailed information that we use multipolar range or Reynolds number is came from the formula, which is combination within maximum and minimum polar range. The formula is TSR or tip speed ratio maximum times velocity maximum and vice versa. The next part is the DMS. Define simulation. Pause leaf. No. Okay. And now we see the graph. There's uh, actually, it should be three graphs, but there's only two appears, which is uh, power coefficient to tip speed ratio on our left and power to rotational speed uh, or RPM on our right side. 
Um, from the right graph, we know it already passed our target in which 300 watts here, 300 watts, around 450 to 800 plus RPMs. On our left side, um, the power coefficient also reached the 30%, uh, which is 0 0.3 of power coefficient to tip speed ratio. Thank you, Rahab. Now we can get to the model. We couldn't make a physical model because it would be too hard and may require one to two months. So we decided to make a 3D model using a program called SOLIDWORKS. First, we made the shaft. The shaft is made of cylinders to simulate pipes and, is, and, the, material, and the materials we use for it is galvanized steel because galvanized steel couldn't rust and it was also very cheap, apparently. The second we've made is the blades. The blade here is similar to the one that you see in Q blade before. This, the material we use for this one is balsa wood. Because balsa wood is actually very cheap and apparently very easy to fly. It's also very light. If we combine these two, what we get is this. This is the turbine and the results of all of the research we've done. I think this is a great turbine model because the moment of inertia is very low, zero to three, as you can see here. The smaller the moment of inertia, the better it is because it requires less force and in order to make it move or rotate. And with that, we conclude our research. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.